Okay, so today I have the perfect project for variegated yarn. And it will require one skein of your favorite variegated yarn. In my case, this is I Love This Yarn. It's, they call it a print. I call it a variegated. It has longer stretches of color than um, something like this, where it changes quickly. So we're gonna get started. And oh, I guess I should tell you what the project is. The project is this lovely cowl. It's just absolutely gorgeous. I love how these colors worked up. So we are going to get started. What you will need is your skein of yarn and an oversized hook. I'm going to use a seven millimeter. So, cause normally the stitch is a very tight fabric and we want it to have some drape since we're going to wear it. And we're gonna get started. What we want to do is start with a slip knot. And we're gonna chain an even number. Now for the cowl, I chained 90. But to show you how to do this, I'm not gonna chain 90, we'll be here forever. So I'm going to chain 30. Okay, so I have 30. And we need to join into a circle, making sure that our stitches are not twisted. And we're going to join with a single crochet. Then we chain one, skip a chain, come over to the next and do a single crochet. Chain one, skip a chain, come over to the next and do a single crochet. chain one, skip a chain, and do a single crochet. And you will do that all the way around. Just all the way around. So when you get around to the other side where you first started, you've got your single crochet, your chain stitch, you're gonna skip over that single and work into your chain space with a single crochet and chain one. Skip over the next single and into the chain space, do a single crochet and chain one. And go to the next chain space, single, chain one. Single, chain one. Single, chain one. single, chain one, always working into your chain one spaces, and you just keep going around and around, now mind you, yours is much bigger than mine is, mine is just a sample to show you how to do the stitch, and you just keep going. Single crochet, chain one. Single crochet, chain one. Single, chain one. This just makes a beautiful transition with these, uh, the colors, the way they change on the, the variegated yarn. There we go, we're finally getting to a color change. just keep going round and round. 
Okay, so when you've reached the end of your yarn, we're going to do the single crochet, the chain one, and then we're going to slip stitch and fasten off to kind of, you know, smooth out that edge a little bit. So the beginning edge, the beginning edge, I should have said, make sure you leave a long enough tail. Hopefully mine is long enough. To smooth out that look, I'm going to weave in my end. My needle fell out. <laughs> to make it not look so blunt and abrupt. Go back the other way. Oh shoot. That is why you need to leave a long end so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, so yeah, you just weave it in and it hides where that join was. But I wanted to cycle through all the colors on this to show you how nicely it works up. And with using the oversized hook, it's got a lot more movement in it, a lot of stretch. So when you make your cowl, so when you make your cowl, like I said, for mine, I chained 90. That all depends on how big you want it to be. You know, how much uh, you want it to hang loose, how loose you want it around your neck. So, however many you decide, just make sure you do an even number and you go from there. And you just keep going around and around and around and around until the width is as much as you want. But gosh, that's just gorgeous. What a wonderful color transition. So, for another great tutorial on what to do with your variegated yarn. If you click on this link over here, it will take you directly there.